of people forget, you know, that Prince Harry has in fact a four book deal with the publishing house Penguin Random House. And, you know, a lot of people also don't realise that the culmination of that money, which people brand around as 20 million, only really comes together on the completion of the very final book. Yes, you know, a lot of people do not do their research. They just man these figures around saying, oh, Harry picked up 20 million. No, he didn't, you know. The bottom line was he got a set fee for spare. But as I told you before, there's also the ghostwriter to pay for. I mean, you know, they're not cheap. It's not a million, but it's not cheap, you know. And the time that they're sitting down with this particular individual, again, all eats into time and, well, vision as it were. Now, of course, though, Penguin, as you can imagine, a year on, are very itchy to get down to sort of uh, the next thing. A couple of things that Harry apparently has put forward. He seemingly sees himself as some kind of fiction writer. Fascinating when you think about it, isn't it? But really, the thing that they want, as I've told you before, is an update on the previous year. But Harry has a better idea as ever. Let me explain. Hi, how are you? You all right today? Thank you so much as ever. Nice to have your company. You got to wave back. Yeah, I know. Come on. You, you might be new to the game, but you know what I mean. You understand? Yeah. Well, okay. One, two. Here we go. You see, a nice wave to each other gets the day off or the the end of the day off nicely, doesn't it? You know, always be kind to each other. Always smile. That's my motto. I know it's hard though, isn't it? Especially when you look at prices in the supermarket. I know. Couldn't believe it. A tuna baguette over here, right? Marks and Spencer's five pounds. Uh, yeah, five pounds. I mean, you can buy four tins or something like that. Make your own, can't you? It's just ridiculous. Where do people get the money? You know, you've got it, you mean. Well, I thought you're just showing off now, aren't you? Lottery winner. <laughs> can you imagine if we were? Back as ever, though, to your breaking roll story of the day. Yeah, this is fascinating, as I say, because at the beginning of the year, Spare was released. Big success for Prince Harry. No two ways about it. Sold a lot of books. Very important, that, for Penguin Random House. Never really going to clear their, you know, advance. That's why lots of people were, shall we say, rested uh, from the company. You know, they redesign roles, don't they, in these major companies? Yes, you know, they have other people now. But you see, the bottom line is Penguin Random House, as I say, have got three books still remaining from Prince Harry and they wouldn't mind something else. You see, the other situation is truly this. What they would like from Harry is a season updated book. But Harry now is saying, hold fire. He's been fired up apparently by the recent cases, uh, particularly over here in the United Kingdom with things like Mirror Group newspapers and Reach PLC. And he believes that if he comes out of this with a glowing sort of success, then this will make a best-selling book. The inside track on how he took on the British media and won as ever. We have have to say allegedly. Now even Penguin Random House are a little bit itchy about this idea because what if you don't win? <laughs> you know, you've got to understand that this is not a fait accompli, is it? You know, you have to think, well, this is all very nicely, but it sort of reeks a little bit of the Spotify thing, doesn't it? You know, taking forever to come up with products when, of course, the company who've paid you a lot of money want you to get on with it and make some money. So far, though, Prince Harry's been buoyed on by that recent win of £140,000 against that particular newspaper, plus costs. But can he now pick up the other four? He believes he can. And he believes that people will want to see the inside track on just how he took on the media and won. Is it a book that you'd like to buy, though? Or is Penguin, once again, should be feeling a little bit itchy about this new idea? There's so many, is there not, from the world of Harry and Meghan? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.